right, boys? It's uh, another successful catch and cook. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, legends. It's uh, basically bang on 5.30 a.m. on the 9th of October, 2021, and Rex is all up and at it. Dilsey is having a little bit of a sleep in because he's a little bit soft. He's done a hard day's work uh, for once during bloody lockdown, so he thinks, oh, I better bloody have a bit of a sleep in. Your destination is on the left. I think this is us, guys. Just gotta wait for Rexy. Alright. So we got a shitload of gear. We can't launch a drone until we can see legally. Okay. Also, it's been dangerous because look at all these from boats. So Rex has got the burly bomb there, it's a five kegger. I'm gonna set up the rigs, gonna deploy the burly, hopefully bring in some live bait, try and actually catch a live bait. And then, um, yeah, we're gonna try and, if, if the weather holds and it doesn't rain, we'll send the live out on the drone. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a two man show. The chance of Dylan getting up, actually Googling where we're fishing, cause I bet he hasn't. Finding out it's nowhere near where he lives and then going, oh, I've definitely got a cough, boys. <laughs> it's pretty high, especially if he checks the weather and oh, it's 12 knots, it's a bit rough. Anyway, I'm slagging you off, Dylan. Actually, I think it's fair cool because you didn't come in the morning, so let's serve it. So the wind and rain forecast is worse than we thought, which is not ideal. We do want that rain to piss off, but where we are now, we're quite exposed. There's like quite a lot of wind coming. I'm wondering if we literally go back to the spot we were last time, um, which is a bit of a pain in the ass getting up and leaving. But what do you reckon? Yeah, I thought so. On the beaches now, on. Yeah. That's where we were last time, and we literally got gurned. So I just thought this would be nicer, but it's too exposed, eh? <laughs> um, if you unclip that, put it in the bucket, and then we'll just leave the rods like pretty much set up for the burly and the chili bin. I know it's a bit of a fuck around, but yeah, luckily we did come here a bit earlier, so we've got heaps of incoming to go. There's other people looking at us, they're gonna think we're soft airs and we've just left. But. <laughs> The only thing like about the drone is it is better to find a good spot to start with. All right, guys, we've had a bit of a fuck around. <laughs> gonna go back to where I was last time. We got some goonies, so yeah, no point filming that shit. It's gonna be a lot of admin. We'll see you there. Wow. This is like no wind here at all. Look at the fucking waves. So the drone can go like all the way out to there before it's gonna get hit by wind. Oh, so much better. I reckon we go like on that corner there. Cause last time I don't remember the water coming up that high. I think it comes up to about there. So we can just put our bags like right up the top. Yeah. So it's not a pain in the ass. We're about to walk back down along this. Yeah, yeah easily. Yeah, so. cause we just fished literally on that beach last time. So you just rip it up. Yeah, we'll put the burly in there. Just throw some burly out, try and get a livey. Let's go. Cool. <laughs> Luck shit, eh? Oh, oh, it's so nice. So we got some freshly made rigs, bro. Can you um undo these, bro? There'll be two for each, like just go down one of them. I'll put the baits on. I found because my drone's a bit smaller, two hooks is way better than three because it's way lighter. It's just much easier for the drone. And then I've never really noticed a difference in catch rate. Yeah. Because if you lose your baits, then you've got to bring them back in anyway. Bought these little plastic chopping boards, eh, from Warehouse in Mint. What do you do with these? Oh, yep. The treble swivel clips on to the end. Did you cut this part off? Or no, 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 I need that. That's for the drone. Okay. Yeah, so the spare treble hole clips onto the end of the swivel. And I've said it before, guys, but if you want to check out my drone tutorial, <laughs> I'll throw the link in the description. Obviously, I haven't watched the tutorial. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Rex, and watch my tutorial, you bastard. <laughs> So last time we used pilchard and squid and cockle. I didn't bring cockles this time, but I heard from a good bit of intel, gurned like things on the bottom, so that's why we got a sinker there. Oh, so yeah. it sits on the bottom. You know what else likes on the bottom? Stingrays. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Rex. <laughs> yeah. We were pretty sure it was an eagle, right? Eh? So on the pen live liner, we have my rig that I made up. And then on the slammer, we have a black magic gunner grabber. So it'll be interesting to see what wins. All right, bro, you want to go man that rod? Just watch your head, bro, from the sinker. 
Yeah, we're sweet. It's off, eh? Perfect. All right, so all you have to do is slam the bail arm over and give it a big hit. Yeah, just a, just a yank. You'll see it come off. Okay, 180. Yeah, bro, now anytime. Yep. Oh, easy as that, bro. Easy as that. All right, bro, if you want to quickly um, put that in the rod holder and grab the um, other bait and all that and put it up there so we can be beyond the money again. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. So. Yeah, man. It's a bait runner, same as a Shimano. Well, better, but same function. That's number one, guys. Gone for the rod that got the hit. So yeah, good guy Rex. Now I'll step in around and try and get a coffee. You still get any bites? No, we fish tough around these ways, mate. Whoa, there's literally no better smell, eh? You do drink coffee, eh? Yeah, I thought so. I said that's why you bought two cups instead of three. Yeah, 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 yeah bro, honestly. <laughs> dude, I bought two noodles, two coffees. I didn't buy to bring a three of anything, dude. I've just made the assumption by the time he turns up, it's lunchtime, eh? Look, he hasn't even messaged us. It's quarter to eight. Useless. That means he's at least probably two hours away. Yeah. This is why you get pen. Absolutely dunked in the sock. <laughs> really sweet. <laughs> we'll move it back a bit, eh? Never. Have you done some EPs off? So I tried it last time and we got some hits, but I didn't really put much effort into it. But we definitely oh. need to do that today. Cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. Cheers, Dylan. Cheers, Dylan. You fucking idiot. Look at the weather. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's not too hot because it's from a thermos. That's beautiful. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's fucking tasty, eh? It's good. I can drink a lot of coffee, eh? Yeah. Mmm. Oh, man. I love that coffee so much. Well, if you're keen, bro, can we cook up some, some ramen, some noodles? Yeah, on whatever. Have breakfast. All right. We're not catching Jack. Beautiful conditions out of that window. Beautiful weather. Brand new little pot here. There you go, bro. Yes, guys. Mm, cook with those tongs. Uh, what are we doing? Sabikis, eh? Alright, we'll put these sabikis on, bro, and try our best to get a live bait. Anything will do. I, I've seen some splashes. Yeah, there's definitely a few, eh? Maybe some piper or mullet or who cares. And we'll send it out probably four meters off that boat. <laughs> Oh, what a day, guys. How good's it, eh? How good is this weather? Absolute ripper. Absolute ripper. I just hope we get a fish now. Just got a little bit of pilchard on these sabikis. What bites, eh? What bites? 
Thought we were on, bro. And got the bucket and. Yeah, it's a good way to get baited. Oh, shit. Yeah. I reckon just do the unholiest of chumming, eh? Yeah, so what we're doing here, guys, is just cubing or chumming. Bring in the bait fish. It's the idea, anyway. Once you get in some bait fish, you might even be able to bring in a bigger fish. We get lucky, anyway. See all those little fish in there? That's probably what's hitting our bait. Good brother. Good. We changed over the rig. It's slightly smaller hooks than new hooks. That was a nicer bite. Yeah, that was a bit more weight to it. That's some money. That's Get it in, Rex. Is it it's on right. or no? You're on, or not. Yep. you're on, eh? Yeah, boy! Yeah, you and then stay on the hook. Oh my gosh. Liveys, liveys, boys. Everyone's into action. Oh shit! Oh, Rex has fucking moved. Oh, don't oh, be careful, you bastards. Nice. Try this out, eh? Oh, get the dogs. Oh, true. That's sick. Do you reckon I'll be able to lift them straight out of the livey bucket? Dylan, um, I need your help. Can you just throw it in the rod holder, bro? It is easier fishing with old mates because I can be quite rude and not feel guilty about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dylan, can you please hold that on the ground? Yeah, it's just so that when that lifts up, it doesn't get tangled. Yeah. Okay. Stand back a bit, Rex. You'll be soup for now. Stand back, it's all going to shit. <laughs> yep. We're up. Dylan, you, um, you really need to be watching that line though in case something goes wrong. I know that's ironic coming from me filming, but... There we go. Oh, we're in flight, boys! That's, this is fucking dope. That's pretty crack up. There's no way we would be able to get him out there that, like, he'd just be blasted. Yeah, he's getting a yarn, though. He's having a ride. So we got bait, far livey, close livey, soft bait. And still no fish. And still, <laughs> still absolutely nothing. Nothing but mullet. We've got two minuscule mullets. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna make this a catch and cook. <laughs> catch big fish, you gotta use big knives. Thank you, tongue at all. Thank you, mullet. <laughs> so if you don't scale them, you're really wasting your time. <laughs> Boys, can't look a gift horse spread in the mouth. There we go, David providing the feed. <laughs> Hang on, I just need to zoom in. I just really need to zoom in on it. <laughs> Gotta do it for the last, boys. <laughs> Gotta do it for the last. Yeah, we'll this go buy fish and chips, bro. <laughs> this is my dinner, boys. <laughs> They're big, they're big slabs. <laughs> if we caught 20 of them, yeah. To be fair, if we caught 20, we'd be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as shit. Alright guys. Oh. To be honest, it smells pretty yummy. Dude. Get out the sauce. You can do if you want, it's your gotcha jones, like Korean chili paste. Yeah. There's a few bones in the area, but. Have a little 
Edmund. What's your thoughts, Dylan? Hmm? Good, Edmund. Yeah, not bad. I got a bone, but I enjoy um, flesh with my bones. Nice. Look hmm. at that, guys. It's uh, another successful catch and cook. <laughs> 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 oh, what a laugh! But anyway, we're probably gonna get fish and chips. <laughs> but it's a bit of fun. Oh, well, cheers, boys. That was a good day. Hope you guys had a laugh, eh? Yeah, so as always, legends, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hopefully it was a laugh for everyone. It's certainly enjoyable for us. We just love talking shit and catching fish sometimes. If you like this video and you like what you see, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, give us a subscribe as well, please, legends. Turn on notifications as well. And we're just going to finish up with a beautiful beer and some fish and chips, I think, to have a bit of a Kiwi on a Saturday. You. So what are we doing here, Rex? Looking for a needle in a haystack. Because Dylan left his key, individual key, somewhere in this vicinity. Now Dylan's been searching for a while. We've come back together to be GCs and we found it right there. So what we'll do is maybe see if Dylan comes down first. And maybe just fuck with him. <laughs> Have you found it? We looked everywhere bro. So you just had one key, no key ring. I had one key. And no Ziploc bag, nothing you didn't put in your backpack. And lucky I found it then, eh? <laughs> hey, it's pretty funny. At least we found it. It was nearby.